In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the login and registration feature inside Brizzy Cloud. Now, there are lots of ways in which you could use this, but I've basically set up a simple pop-up that we're going to use as the basis for our login and registration. So I'm going to select the button, click the link, and you can see there's my pop-up. Let's open that up. Now, inside there, you can see I've basically got a simple tab set up. So let's start off by creating our login. We make sure we've got the login tab selected, and we're going to click to insert a new element. We do a search for login, and we simply drag the login element into the relevant tab. And you can see that now inserts the login form. We can go ahead and style this any way we want. So I'm quickly going to apply some simple styling to this just to make it look a little bit better. And there we go. Everything is now styled up. So now we can go ahead and configure this to make sure that everything is working the way we want. So let's select the element. Once we do that, you can see we've now got some options. Let's click the first icon and we can choose what type of form this is going to be. We can choose between login, authorized, register, and forgot password. For this example, login is perfectly fine. So we'll leave that as it is. We can also come to the advanced section and we can enable and disable various features inside our form. Now for this example, register doesn't really need to be there because we've a dedicated tab for it. So let's just disable the register option and that then just removes the link from our form. So that's the first part all done. Now let's go ahead and deal with the register option. Let's select that tab. Again, we're going to go back out to our elements, search for login, add that into our tab. We're going to apply the same formatting to this. And there we go, all formatted. So the next thing we need to do now is change this over from the login form to the registration form. To do that, we simply select the element, which is the first option, and then we're going to change the type from login and set that to be register. You can see that now changes and shows us all the fields we need for registration. We've also got an incredibly important option underneath the type, which is to set the default role or roles. You can see at the moment that's set to none. However, we want to set this to be subscriber, which is a custom role that we've set up. Let's just drop this down. You can see inside there, there's our subscriber option. We can select that and know when someone registers, they'll automatically be given the default role of a subscriber. If you've got more than one role available, you can simply select the role that you want from all those options that you have listed under the default roles section. If we come to the advanced section, inside there you can see what we can disable and enable inside our form. So we may not want something like a phone number, we can simply disable that. And there we go, that's now been removed. Now in our example, we don't need the back to login because it's all on the same page, and we don't need the lost password option because this is the registration section. So we'll say we're happy with everything inside there and we've now set up our registration and our login. So let's go ahead and test this out. We'll update our page first of all to commit the changes we've done and we'll simply click go back to close the pop-up and update one more time just to make sure that the page and the pop-up are all saved. So now we can go ahead and preview this. So here's our page. Let's click the sign in to view content button. There's our pop-up opening up and as you can see there's our login and if we click there's our registration. So now new users can choose to register or existing users can just choose to log in with their relevant details. Simple as that.